what's going on guys welcome back to the 12th video in the series mad about python and in this video we'll be learning how you make checkboxes using tkinter and python the checkbox should look something like this you have boxes which you can tick to choose one of the options somewhat similar to the radio buttons where you have a tactile switch the first six line remains the same we have seen in other programs also so in radio buttons you have learned how to use uh, integer variable like int var and also string variable like string var and uh, it will be the same procedure for the checkboxes so we will using a variable known as string variable so we'll use variable as string var and then we give another variable you can give c and use this keyword which is available in tkinter which is check button now check button will create this box right here like a small square but without the selection part so you can use the check box here then you want your check box inside the directory root and then you want to give some text to this so we will give it python and then you want a variable to operate so variable and this variable will be nothing but your string var right here so that is nothing but var so i'll just give it var and you can give any name here if you give it a also you just change this variable name to a and it will work okay now uh, there's another parameter which you have to give is on values and off values now these on values and off values are nothing but once you click the checkbox it will show some value to your label so we'll give on value on value as um, let's go okay and uh, give off value off value as no you can give any text here oh sorry uh off value with the double f so on value and off value so once you click uh, python the value should be okay and if you don't click it and submit the value will be no so we'll just go ahead and pack this uh, we go c dot pack and then we need a function to use our button so we'll go ahead and create a function uh, def um, click and then inside that you want your label so you go my label and then your label keyword you want this inside your root and then you want the text now text here you want to get it from the variable itself so your variable is a so you want to get that text so you go a dot get simple the python get function and then you go ahead and pack this my label dot pack so once you have done that we want to create a submit button like we did in uh, radio button or your uh, other programs it will be same you go my button you just go button this time go b1 equals button and then you want your button inside your root widget and text for the button uh, show value and then your command will be nothing but click because you have created the function definition as click so your command becomes click and uh, you want to pack your button so you go p1 dot pack simple let's go ahead and run this oh wait we didn't close the program you go root dot main loop to close this program and then we run. have to add one more thing before you run this program that is a deselect function now what will happen is this command will create the button and by default i don't know how but in tkinter this button gets selected by default so the best thing you can do here is after this line you can just go ahead and deselect the button so you go c dot deselect simple once you do that then your checkbox will be empty 
at the beginning otherwise the tick mark shows so you go ahead and run this yeah so here is your checkbox you can see here you have your button your check button with the name python and you have given on value as ok and then you have given the off value as no so we'll just test that out when i uh, submit without the checkbox the value is no when i click this and submit the value is ok and this works perfectly you can see no I'll just extend this click this ok submit without the checkbox it'll show no so this is how you can create checkboxes in tkinter